Lesson six: Shopping, clothing. Hello, students. Today we will talk about clothes and shopping. Anna, do you like shopping? Yes, I do. I like to buy new clothes. Did you go shopping last week? Yes, I bought a red sweater and a pair of blue jeans. I also bought a blue sh shirt for my brother. It's his birthday on Friday. Oh well, that will be a nice gift for him. What kind of clothes do you like to wear, Alberto? I like to wear casual clothes like t-shirts or jeans. They are very comfortable, but I don't like to wear formal clothes. But I must wear a suit at work. Yes. What about you, Sylvia? I like to wear casual clothes too, but I also like to wear formal clothes sometimes. Last week I bought a dress. It is pink and has a long skirt. It is very formal, and I will wear it to my friend's birthday next month. That sounds very nice, Sylvia. Now let's practice talking about clothes. Anna, please tell me what Alberto is wearing today. Okay. Alberto is wearing a red shirt and a blue jeans, and also uh, he is wearing a black belt and black shoes. Okay, very good. Sylvia, what is Anna wearing? She is wearing orange blouse and black pants. She is also wearing a necklace and bracelets. All right, very good, excellent. Now let's look at some pictures. Black-haired woman wearing a blue shirt and red pants. Next picture. Blonde-haired woman wearing a red shirt and blue pants. And last picture. Black-haired woman wearing a red shirt and blue jeans. Now you will listen to a conversation of a man describing his sister. So listen to the conversation and choose the correct picture of his sister. Excuse, Excuse me, could, could you, you help me? me? Yes, yes, of course. course. What, what do you need? need? I'm, I'm looking, looking for my sister. sister. She, she said, said she would meet me here, here and I don't, don't see her. Can you describe her for me? Sure. She's, She's about 25 and, and has black hair. hair. Is that her? No. My, My sister, sister is wearing a red shirt. There is a woman wearing a red shirt near the clock. Is that her? No. My sister isn't wearing a skirt. She's wearing blue pants. Oh, I think I see her. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. Have a nice day. Thanks. You too. So, were you able to choose the correct picture? Okay, Sylvia. Did you choose the correct answer? Yes, the correct answer is number three. Sorry, the correct picture is number three. Black hair woman wearing a red shirt and blue pants. Very good. Now, let's talk about other words we use to describe clothing. We have many different words for clothing. Let's look at some of the most common vocabulary for clothing now. Blouse. Blouse. Boots. Boots. Coat. Coat. Dress. Dress. Jeans. Jeans. Nightgown, nightgown, pajamas, pajamas, pants, pants, shirt, shirt, shoes, shoes, shorts, Shorts, skirt, skirt, slacks, slacks, 
socks, socks, suit, suit, sweater, sweater, t-shirt, t-shirt, turtleneck shirt, turtleneck shirt, tuxedo, tuxedo, underwear, underwear. All right. Now let's talk about accessories. Accessories are items we wear with our clothing. They make our clothing look very nice. Okay. These are some of the most common accessories. Belt. Belt. Bracelet. Bracelet. Necklace. Necklace. Earrings. Earrings. Gloves. Gloves. Hat. Hat. Ring. Ring. Scarf. Scarf. Tie. Tie. Wristwatch. Or usually we just say watch. Wristwatch or watch. All right, now that we understand some words for clothing and accessories, let's talk some more about these things. I'm going to a party tonight. What do you think I should wear, Anna? Is it a casual party or a formal party? Well, it's a casual party at my friend's house. Uh, you should wear something casual, but I don't think you should wear jeans. Jeans are very casual. Uh, you should wear slacks uh, or a skirt. Okay, good, good, good suggestion. I think a skirt sounds nice. You should wear a casual shirt with it. If you wear a blouse, uh, that might be too formal. Maybe, yes, okay. Why can't she wear jeans? I like jeans and you can wear any shirt with jeans. Jeans are very casual, Sylvia. This is a party and she should look nicer. All right. Thank you all for your ideas. Now let's talk about different parts of the body because we need to know which body part to put our clothing and accessories on. Of course, we have feet. Feet. And legs legs, our whole body, whole body, upper body, upper body, arm or hands, arm and hands, neck, neck, head, head. Okay, let's practice. Sylvia, where do we put slacks? We wear slacks on our feet like jeans. Oh, sorry. We wear slacks on our legs like okay. feet, like jeans. Good. So on our legs, we wear slacks and jeans. Okay, good, Sylvia. Alberto, what do we wear on our feet? We wear boots, shoes, and socks on our feet. Good. So on our feet, we wear boots, shoes, and socks. Good. Anna, what else can we add to the legs group? Well, uh, we already have slacks and jeans. We also wear skirt, pants, shorts, and underwear on our legs. All right, very good, Anna. Sylvia, 
What do we wear on our whole body? Mm, we, wear, we wear suit, tuxedos, and dresses on our whole body. And when we sleep, we wear nightgown or pajamas on our whole body. Very good, Sylvia. So on our whole body, we can wear a suit, a tuxedo, a dress, and to sleep, we sleep in a nightgown or pajamas. All right, uh, Alberto, what do we wear on our upper body? We wear shirts, coat, turtleneck shirts, and sweaters on our upper body. Very good. So on our upper body, we wear shirts, a coat, turtleneck shirt, and sweaters on our upper body. All right, good. And of course, we can also wear a blouse or a t-shirt on our upper body. Now, Sylvia, what do we wear on our arms or hands? We wear rings, watches, gloves, and bracelets on our hands and arms. Very good. So on our hands or arms, we can wear a ring, a watch, or a bracelet. Um, also gloves. We can wear gloves on our hands when it's cold. Okay, let's talk about the neck. We haven't mentioned the neck yet. Anna, what do we wear on our necks? We wear scarves and ties on our neck. Okay, good. Okay, is there anything else that we wear on our necks, Sylvia? Yes, we also wear necklaces on our neck. Good. We can also wear a necklace on our neck. Now, let's talk about the head. Sylvia, what do we wear on our heads? We wear um, hats and earrings on our heads. Okay, good. So on our heads, we can wear a hat or an earring or earrings. Okay, we forgot something. We forgot belts. Yes, that's right. We wear belts around our middle body called the waist to hold up our pants or shirts, shorts or skirts, belts. All right, now let's talk about women and men. What clothing items or accessories belong to men? What clothing or accessory items belong to women? And what clothing or accessory items belong to both women and men? Okay. So we have a heading for women, men, and then women and men. All right. Um, so, Sylvia. What clothing items or accessories belong to women only, men only, or both men and women? Only women wear skirts and dresses. Only men wear ties. All right. Good. So only women wear skirts and dresses. Usually men wear ties, but sometimes ladies wear ties. All right. Alberto, what about rings? Both women and men wear rings. They wear belts, jeans, hats, and gloves. Rings, belts, hats, and jeans. gloves. Jeans, okay. And gloves. Very good. Okay, um, let's try to complete the columns. Anna. Only men wear tuxedos. Only women wear 
blouses and nightgowns. Usually only women wear bracelets. Very good, Anna. So only men wear tuxedos. Only women wear blouses, nightgowns. And usually women wear bracelets, although men wear bracelets too, sometimes. Very good. How about scarves, Sylvia? I wear a scarf when it's cold, and so does my brother. So both women and men wear scarves. Also both women and men wear boots, shoes, sweaters, and pajamas. Very good, Sylvia. Yes, both women and men wear scarves, boots, shoes, sweaters, and pajamas. Good job. Alberto, do both women and men wear suits? Yes, men wear uh, suits more than women. But many, many women also wear suits if they are a lawyer or a business woman. Both women and men wear pants, coats, shirts, and slacks. Very good, Alberto. Okay. Yes, both men and women wear suits, pants, shirts, slacks, and coats. Sylvia, do men wear earrings? Sometimes, but uh, women wear earrings more than men. Okay. Also, men wear necklaces, but women usually wear them more often. Both women and men wear wristwatches, though. Very good. Yes, men and women wear earrings and bracelets, but more often women and men wear wristwatches. When men wear necklaces, we call them chains. They're usually in gold or silver. Anna, what column should I put shorts in? Both women and men wear shirts, socks, underwear, Turtleneck shorts and t-shirts. Very good, Anna. Both women and men wear shorts, socks, underwear, turtleneck shirt, excuse me, turtleneck shirts, and 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 t-shirts, yes. Good job. All right, let's talk about when we wear these clothes. Um, Sylvia, what does a lawyer wear to work? A woman lawyer wears a suit, a man lawyer wears a suit and a tie. Very good. A woman lawyer wears a suit, a man lawyer wears a suit and a tie. Good. Alberto, what does a teacher wear? A teacher wears casual dress clothes like slacks or sweaters. Teachers don't uh, wear casual clothes like t-shirt or jeans. All right, very good. And what about business people? What do they wear, Anna? Business people uh, wear dress clothes like lawyers. Uh, they don't wear uh, formal clothes uh, like tixados. Very good. And what are you wearing today, Anna? I am wearing casual clothes. Alberto and Sylvia are wearing casual clothes too. Good, Anna. Now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. Susan will wear a red dress to the party. Edward is wearing a brown belt and blue pants. Michael wore a black tuxedo and a red bow last night. Kathy likes to wear casual clothes. I like to wear formal clothes for special days. Read and repeat.
pronouns. Now let's talk about pronouns. We already know the subject pronouns. Anna, can you please review the subject pronouns for us? Sure. I, you, she, he, it, we, and they. Very good, Anna. Okay. I, you, she, he, it, we, and they. Subject pronouns. Okay, excellent. And what about the object pronouns, Alberto? They are me, you, him, her, it, us, and them. Very good. Okay, me, you, him, her, it, us, and them. Object pronouns. Okay, now we will add some new pronouns. Subject pronouns, object pronouns. We also have possessive pronouns. Our new topic, possessive pronouns. Okay, we use possessive pronouns to talk about things that belong to us. Okay, I own this pen, right? I own this pen. So what does that mean? It means this pen is mine, all right? I own this pen. This pen is mine. Notice that mine is a possessive pronoun that we use for something that belongs to the person speaking. So how do we say something belongs to you, Sylvia? We say yours. That pen is yours. Very good, Sylvia. Now let's look at the chart of possessive pronouns. Subject pronouns and possessive pronouns. I, possessive pronoun, mine. You yours, he, his, she, hers, it, its, we, ours, they, theirs. So now we understand possessive pronouns, so let's practice. Sylvia, will you make a sentence using his? Sure, Alberto owns that shirt. That shirt is his. Very good. Alberto owns that shirt. That shirt is his. Good sentence. Anna, will you make a sentence using hers? She owns that book. That book is hers. She owns that book. That book is hers. Good job. Sylvia, the dog has a collar. That collar is its. Good. That dog has a color. The color is its. Good. And how about ours? Alberto. We own these tables. These tables are ours. Very good. And the last one. They own those pants. Those pants are theirs. Excellent, Anna. Thank you all very much. Now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. This shirt is his. That hat is yours. These shoes are ours. This sweater is his. Which watch is yours? Read and repeat.
pronouns and possessive adjectives. Now let's talk about possessive adjectives. We use possessive adjectives with nouns to say that something belongs to us. For example, I own this pen. So we can use a possessive pronoun, which we learned earlier today. We can say this pen is mine. Remember the possessive pronoun, my. But more common in speaking is to use a possessive adjective. This is my pen. The possessive adjective is my. Okay, this is my pen. All three sentences mean the same thing. I own this pen, this pen is mine, this is my pen. Alberto, can you tell me about this book? Yes, you own that book, that book is yours, that's your book. Excellent. Sylvia, can you tell me about this eraser? You own that eraser, that eraser is yours, that is your eraser. Very good, Sylvia. Let's look more closely at possessive adjectives. Okay, using possessive adjectives with a noun. Always with a noun. Okay, let's look at these sentences. That is your book. Okay, that is your book. Your is the possessive adjective describing the noun book. That is your eraser. Okay, that is your eraser. Again, the possessive adjective your to tell us about the noun eraser. When we don't have a noun, we use, of course, the possessive pronoun. So same sentences, but with possessive pronoun. That book is yours. We don't have a noun after your, so we use the pronoun yours. That book is yours. That is yours. If we already know what the noun is, what the item is, we can just say that is yours. All right, now let's look at the chart of pronouns and possessive adjectives. I, possessive pronoun, mine, possessive adjective, my. You, yours, your. He, his, his. She, hers, her. It, its, its. We, ours, our. They, theirs, and their. Now let's practice using a possessive pronoun or a possessive adjective. Sylvia, you do the first sentence, please. Okay, this hat is... Mm -hmm. What do you think, Sylvia? This hat is mine. Good, Sylvia. Now, why didn't you say, this hat is my? Because we can only use uh, my with a noun. There is no noun after possessive word, so we use a possessive pronoun. Very good, Sylvia. Okay, Anna, this is your example. 
This is mm -hmm. hat. Your hint is you. This is your hat. Very good, Anna. This, this is your hat. So why didn't you say this is yours hat? Because we must use the possessive adjectives when we have a noun. Yours is the possessive pronoun. Very good, Anna. All right, um, Alberto, this sock is... Mm -hmm. Your hint is he. This sock is his. Very good. This sock is his. Sylvia, this is... Mm -hmm. Sock. Your hint is she. This is her sock. Very good. This is her sock. Good. Alberto, these jackets are... Mm -hmm. Your hint is we. These jackets are ours. These jackets are ours. Last one. These are... Mm -hmm. Jackets. Okay, Anna, this one's yours. Your hint is they. These are their jackets. Good. These are their jackets. All right, now let's practice making sentences using possessive pronouns and possessive adjectives. Alberto, will you begin? Yes, I own this shirt. This shirt is mine. This is my shirt. Very good. Sylvia? You own that skirt. That skirt is yours. That is your skirt. Good job. Anna? She owns this hat. This hat is hers. This is her hat. All right. Excellent job, everyone. Now it's time to look and listen. Look and listen. I own this shoe. This shoe is mine. This is my shoe. My grandmother owns these gloves. These gloves are hers. These are her gloves. You own that dress. That dress is yours. That is your dress. My dog owns that hat. That hat is its. That is its hat. We own these scarves. These scarves are ours. These are our scarves. My friends own those hats. Those hats are theirs. Those are their hats. Read and repeat.
Listen and write. Now it's time for us to listen and write. So listen to these sentences and write them. My favorite color is blue. I really like your new shoes. Our football team got new shirts. I think their new shirts are nice. The dog is cold. Please put its sweater on. His pants are really nice. When is she wearing her red dress? Your diamond ring is beautiful. I'm wearing my green dress tomorrow. What color is your new scarf? Now check your work. My favorite color is blue. I really like your new shoes. Our football team got new shirts. I think their new shirts are nice. The dog is cold. Please put its sweater on. His pants are really nice. When is she wearing her red dress? Your diamond ring is beautiful. I'm wearing my green dress tomorrow. What color is your new scarf? All right, good job. Now read the story and answer the questions about it. Read and answer. My name is Linda. I'm 12 years old, and I have two brothers and a sister. My father is a teacher, and my mother is a secretary. My parents have good jobs, but we don't have a lot of money. My family lives together in a very small house. There are only three bedrooms in our house. So I have to share a room with my sister. My brothers are younger than me, and they are twins, so they share everything. Their room is very messy. They never put their things away. Their clothes are always on the floor, and their toys are everywhere. My sister is older than me. She is a student, and her desk is always neat. Because we don't have a lot of money, I always have to wear my sister's old clothes. Her clothes are nice, but they are always old when I get them. The dress I'm wearing now was hers. It was beautiful. Now it is old, and the color isn't nice anymore. All my clothes were hers. Even my shoes were hers. They have holes in them, or they are not fashionable now. Also, my bed was hers, and even the bed cover was hers. Everything I have was hers. My brothers always get new things. Their clothes are new and fashionable. Mine are old and old-fashioned. She will go to university soon. And I won't have to share a bedroom. My brothers are very jealous of me. Also, maybe I will be able to have new clothes when my sister leaves. Someday, my clothes will be new and fashionable. Now, answer these questions. How many people live in Linda's house? Is Linda's father a secretary? Why does Linda's family have a small house? 
Does Linda have her own room? Why aren't Linda's clothes new? Does Linda like her sister's clothes? Why doesn't Linda like wearing her sister's clothes? Where is Linda's sister going? Does Linda like sharing a room with her sister? What does Linda want for the future? Now check your answers. How many people live in Linda's house? There are six people living in Linda's house. Is Linda's father a secretary? No, Linda's father is a teacher. Why does Linda's family have a small house? They don't have a lot of money. Does Linda have her own room? No, Linda shares a room with her sister. Why aren't Linda's clothes new? Linda wears her sister's old clothes. Does Linda like her sister's clothes? Linda likes her sister's clothes. Why doesn't Linda like wearing her sister's clothes? When she gets them, they are old, so she doesn't like wearing her sister's clothes. Where is Linda's sister going? Her sister is going to university. Does Linda like sharing a room with her sister? No, Linda doesn't like sharing a room with her sister. What does Linda want for the future? Linda wants to have new, fashionable clothes. All right, see you next time. Bye. Practicing English. Okay, guys, Angie's birthday is next week. What do you think we should get her? Well, she likes watches. What about a nice wristwatch? That's good, but I have a better idea. She's always saying how much she likes horses, so why don't we get her a couple of hours riding lessons in Village Park? Wow, she'd really like that too. Both of the ideas we've heard are really good ones, but I'm afraid there's one problem. Yeah, I know what you're going to say. It's money, right? Yeah, uh, learning lessons and a wristwatch all cost a lot of money. Even if the three of us shared the cost, it'd still be expensive. Okay, guys, so we're not millionaires. But let's remember that it's not important how much we can or can't spend. But that we want our friend to be happy on her birthday. Lexi, you are right. We don't have to spend a fortune to make Angie feel special. I have an idea. She likes clothes from this shop down on Istakla. If we went there, we could get something really nice for Angie. Do you want to go now? Sure. If it doesn't work out today, we still have time to get something next week. Let's see how we do today. Yep. Okay, let's go. Sure, okay. Hmm. This is nice. Hi, guys. Welcome to our store. How can I help you? Well, our friend, her name is Angie, is having a birthday next week. And she loves your store a lot. 
Can you help us pick out some clothes for a present? Well, I will certainly try. Why don't you start by telling me a little about your friend? Well, she's turning 26. She's about your height and about your shape. She likes a lot of colour in her clothes. She likes things that are a little unusual. You know, bright and colourful, but not too weird. Well, because it's summer, we have lots of colourful shirts and t-shirts. Also, some jeans and slacks, and some light summer sweaters. Then, of course, there are the scarves, shoes, and hats that can go with them. Well, we're not used to buying clothes for girls, so let's keep this simple. Sure, fellas, let's start with a shirt or a blouse first. And then we can build an outfit for her. Let me show you a few summer prints over here and then you can tell me what should be next. What do you think of this pink shirt? Yeah, that looks like something she'd wear, doesn't it? Yes. How about if uh, we put this shirt underneath it? Hey, good idea. It would look like this. That is really nice. Or your friend Angie, does she like to wear jeans or is she more likely to wear khakis or even white slacks? If you put the shirt and blouse with some jeans or some khakis and then some white pants, we could get a good idea. Guys, I think your friend Angie is very lucky to have three friends like you. My friends would never spend so much time to buy a gift for me. Well, Angie is a really great person. I noticed these belts. They're really nice. I think Angie would like one with her jeans. What do you think, guys? Yeah, this is easier than I thought. Jeans, t-shirt, blouse, and now this belt. It's all coming together. Okay, guys, just a minute. We just got these sweaters in today. Let me show you how she could wear the sweater or wrap it round her shoulders when it's chilly. Hey, your ideas are very good. Thanks, I like working here and I like putting different outfits together for my customers. Hey guys! Look at this shirt, it's just like hers. Mm, do you mean hers or Angie's? Hers! Do you think Angie would like it? Yeah, it looks great on her and I think that Angie would like it too. I'm glad you like this shirt. It isn't mine. My roommate bought it here and I wear it sometimes. It's a great colour. Let's get that too for Angie. So guys, now you've got two shirts, a blouse, a pair of jeans and a belt. And what about the sweater I mentioned? Yeah, we like that too. So whose idea was it to come here today? Huh, it was his idea to show off the clothes. I'm very glad to have helped you guys today. It's been my pleasure. Now let's get these paid for and we'll help wrap for your friend. I hope her birthday is a great one.